Hi, coach. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Anna. It's refreshing to see you back with pre and post match interviews. Great. How's the feeling like? Uh, not good, especially when you are not getting the results. What have you been telling these boys in the midst of these difficult times? They should keep their heads up and chest out because they are the only people who can turn things around. They are the people who can orchestrate the victories that we all expect. So I've been telling them that they don't have to drop their heads. They need to keep their heads up, chest out, and believe in what they are doing. Believe that the victories will start coming. And for you professionally, I'm thinking that you must have developed a very thick skin to go through all of these difficult times. Sure. I mean, when it happens that way, you only have to, to, to show to the players that you are not down and that you still believe in them and you believe that things will turn around. Is there a matter of they not responding to your tactics at training or they not living it up when the real deal comes up? Uh, they've been doing well at training and in the games, tactically, they, they play well. We create a lot of chances. The issue is that when you are playing and you don't score and the opponent scores, the pressure mounts on you. And normally the expectation of our supporters is so high that when we concede, it puts a lot of pressure on them. And this uh, creates some tension in them and it affects their, their, their skill execution and tactical execution on the field. So I believe that uh, when things are not moving on well, the supporters need to be patient and then encourage them. Once we are able to do that, I'm sure we'll get our confidence back and play. I remember asking you this question in the embryonic stages of the league about you getting a consistent team and you building a team around you know, some specific players. At this point, would you say you've not really settled on a team for Asante Kotoko? Yeah, we've not been consistent because of issues of injuries, issues of illnesses, and sometimes based on the upcoming game, the tactical approach of the opponent and then the tactical approach that we also want to execute in the game. So these are some of the factors that have actually led to the course. I'm sure you're familiar with this side. You know them so well. What are you expecting from them? They are a very good side and kudos to them. They are doing very well. They are flying high. They are very confident. And I'm sure they will give us a run for our money. We have to be very cautious and be sure that uh, we, 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 we don't give them the chances, the time and the space on the ball. To, to do what they want to do. Once we give them the time and the space on the ball, they will become, they will grow in confidence and they will, they will, they will, they will, they will, they will attack us with the ball. Your surest bet for goals in this team is the Ugandan, Steve Desimukwala. Why is he not part of your playing squad today? Yeah, I think uh, basically it's all about adjustments and then um, it's all about adjustments and then it's all about trying to do some few changes in the team. So. So, so, so that is it. Will Prosper Nate Ogun bring back the smiles on the faces of the fans after the game? We hope so. Good luck. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, it's a big game for you. You're playing against a struggling powerhouse in Ghana football. You come into this game as league leaders. Would you admit? Yeah, it's, it's, you, it's a big game. You are the top side ahead of this game? No, no, not necessarily. It's a big game because Kotoka is a big club and then uh, we are playing at their own backyard, but uh, we have so much respect for them, but on the field, we will show something. Do you think your side coming to this game as the favourites? I can't say we are favourites, but we will give a good fight. We will give a good fight. They've been struggling in the last couple of games, they've gone about 10 games. That, that is why it's even more difficult, because now they have to correct their errors, and now it's going to be even more difficult than I think. Are you under pressure to deliver as league leaders? Yeah, I'm under pressure because I have to continue my championship aspirations. So I have to, I have to deliver. How useful are guys like Baba, Owusu and Keke be for you in this game? They've been practically your star men in this season. Yeah, they are going to feature and I, I hope that they will deliver. Will you beat Kotoko? I hope that they will deliver, the boys will deliver. Will you beat Kotoko? I cannot say we will beat them, I will see how it goes. Are you thinking about becoming champions of Ghana football? Sure, we are, we are on course and so we are working very hard towards that uh, achievement. Too. You think 
from what you've done this season to this point, you have the quality to win the title? We have, we have the quality. At least we are left with some few matches. We will manage what we have and then uh, we will see how it goes at the end of our last match. Good luck. Okay, thank you.